Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Gaius Melody Echo Melodies. Last episode, things got kind of interesting. We found the orb after we beat up uh, Zephyr and it turns out Akira and Zephyr may have squat bodies. So that means a Akira is going to uh, Mirik, or well Zephyr, and may actually finally find her sister. So let's jump into this, shall we? Chapter 6 And more loading. <laughs> I like how it loads like chapter 6 and then more loading. Seems like something, uh, you know, Sonic 06 would do. Sleepy. Head hurts. Yeah, and there he is. Or she is, I guess. It's kind of confusing, but it's, uh, it's a Kira, but in Zephyr's body. Where am I? You're a mirror. Something's not right. Well, look in the mirror beside you and you'll understand. Woo! Woo 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 what? Da, 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 da. I, 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 I'm... A guy? Moreover, I'm that cure, Zephyr! What happened? Okay, calm down, Akira. What was it Isha said? The orb will make you face your fears. Something like that? Yeah, this was your fear, I guess. So... My fear was to become a guy? <laughs> no, not funny. No, I think it's deeper than that. I think you're afraid of this guy, maybe. Maybe you're afraid of Zephyr. I guess it would have been... To become a killer? Someone who only hurts people? I didn't realize how scared of that I am. This Zephyr guy! Oh. Oh, Prince, my master, are you awake now? You know, you have to pretend to be a uh, Zephyr, uh, Akira, but yeah, we're in Mirik. We might be able to find Echo. It's just me again, and I'm not even me. I know, it's confusing, I know. Well, since we're, you know, Akira in Zephyr's body, does that change your equipment any? Do you have, like, his equipment? Well, you got his, uh, magic sword. And his engulfed magic blade, so I guess you do. Can I just remove his equipment and keep it, you know? Or am I going to be fighting as him? A large collection of magic-related books reside here. Okay. I see you. I see you too. Hello. A shining cape. Cool. And a save point. Well, we'll do the healy thing and we'll do the save thing. Doesn't make much sense to have a save point here, though, since we literally just... You know, became uh, the state we're in now and they'll be saved a few minutes ago. Oh, hello. It looks like some sort of world map. There's a dot over every place we visited and then some. Looks like my world map every time I'm uh, out in the world. It's locked. And I know not the code. Large collection of magic related books reside here. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, that's how, okay. I didn't know that was a door. That's interesting. Oh, is there any shinies if I zoom in, though? I keep forgetting to check that out. Oh, there is. It just tells me those things, though. Okay. Hello. Hey, Master Zeppikins. Zeppikins. <laughs> What's up with you? You certainly seem a lot more cheerful. Perhaps it was her. Uh, right. Way to make me blow your cover, Kira, stupid. I thought so. Glad to hear it. Alright, your dear old dad wants to see you. He's a little preoccupied at the moment, so stop by later. Oh. Sure, uh... I... I hit my head or something. Where is he again? You must have hit your head. You aren't even mad. Uh... Normally you'll say something like... Don't call him that, or... He's Agoras, not my father. <laughs> I guess that girl really did a number on ya. Oh well, at least it didn't end up like last time. 
Last time? Last time? Yeah, you remember? Back when we first went for that kid? Uh, I see. I remember. Yeah, no. I don't. <laughs> I have a meeting to get to now. If you need anything, just come find me. Will do. I'll get you when Agoras is ready. Until then, feel free to do as you like. Uh, of course. I'm gonna have to pretend to be the Zephyr guy till I get out of this place. You don't even know who Zephyr is though. How are you supposed to be like somebody, pretend to be somebody you never met? That's gonna be kind of annoying. Oh, I forgot. Agoras's chambers are just up there. I wouldn't wander in accidentally if I were you. So long, master. Uh, thank you. Maybe I should go back and practice. Practice what? I'm gonna have to pretend to be the Zephyr guy if I don't convince everyone I'm him. I might be as good as dead. I should go and practice in front of the mirror just to be safe. Oh, okay. But how does one pretend to be somebody that they know nothing about? Would there be books to teach me how he, like who he is? Upon further inspection, it appears to be Lord Zephyr's diary. Read it. Um, yeah, might help me uh, know who this guy is and help me pretend to be him. Reading someone's diary is an invasion of privacy and would be a very rude thing to do. That's what Echo taught me. But when has that ever stopped me before? Besides, it's that Zephyr guy. Who the heck cares what he thinks? Yeah, you might get some answers into here as to why he was trying to kill you and then started uh, protecting you after he killed Ia. Well, that was the most cryptic, heart-wrenching, lo long-winded love letter I've ever read. I never expected something like that to be hidden in with all those planes and notes. I, I think it's safe to say that nobody needs to know about this stuff. Not even us. Okay, then. Alright, well, let's just try to be him then, I guess. Practice, huh? Come to think of it, his expression. It seemed like he was in pain. Okay, here goes. You must leave here now. It's already too late. I can't waste any more time. You should have stayed away. This is for your own good. I'm sorry, Akira. He was frightened. Those don't sound like the words of someone out to get me. So why? Why did you... Why are you so confusing? I don't get you. Yeah, I don't either, which is gonna make this whole pretending to be you thing kind of hard. Hello! It sounds like your assignment in Mizu hit a tad of a snag, huh? Overlord Agarus sure isn't in a pleasant mood today. I steer clear of him at any cost today, Lord Zephyr. Uh, too bad he wants to see me. Oh, I'm going here. I don't know what's here, but I'm here. Hey, the Mirak window scan! Let's see what it looks like. It should look cool. Oh, I didn't want the defaults. It's... It's not bad. I guess I'll go with it for a bit. I do like myself some blue after all. Alright. Going in here. Alright, oh, that takes me on the other side of that wall. Okay, cool. Lord Zephyr, greetings! Greetings to you too. Are you in a good mood or a uh, bad mood today? Uh, let's say good mood. That's wonderful because I've been waiting to ask you something. You're subordinate, Miss Lee. Do you know if she's seeing that Aaron guy again? I waited for so long to ask her out. Please say it ain't so. Um... Sure, it's not so. So, so I still have a chance. Oh, oh no, oh no. What do I do? Should I keep waiting for her to notice me? Oh no, I can't. I can't talk to her like this. I'm just gonna walk away. Oh, hi. Hey, you. You were sleeping so long. We thought you wouldn't make it back. Well... Let's throw you at a wall with a blinding light and see how you like it. 
Ooh, touchy. I guess you're all better by that reasoning, eh? I can use this opportunity to find out where Echo is. Exactly! Hey, um... That girl's sister. What do you know about her? Do you mean that girl we brought back from the little waterfall town? Yeah, her. That one's a real pain to be sure. Cute enough, though. I don't quite think that's what Master Zepier is asking. She won't tell us anything. I can't understand why you want to keep her around. Um, that, that's for me to know. And you to not concern yourself with. Master Zepier, I've long since given up trying to figure out you out. And that's why you're bad with women. That's one say it's sad truth. Oh, okay. Well, isn't there also something else we just learned about uh, Zepier here? Do you like being alone, Mr. Robot? I wonder who made you. You're actually pretty cute when you're not attacking anyone. Right, okay. Hi, scientists. It's Lord Zepier, welcome back. You certainly come out on lots of missions recently. You should know some people are staying to take notice of your absence. I'd be careful if I were you. Uh, thanks for your concern? I guess? Soldier Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, I'm working hard over... Oh, it's just Zephyr. Oh, uh, it... That is Lord Zephyr. Okay. Uh, okay, you were expecting somebody else. It's just me. So we meet again, Mr. Robot. Are you the same Mr. Robot? Okay. Is he aware that we're not who we look like? Uh, security, I cannot go this way. Alright, fine. We'll check the air stairs, okay? Or maybe this room. Actually, I'll check the air stairs first. Hello? Oh, at least this place ain't secured off. There she is! Echo! Echo! You again? What do you want? Is Akira okay? Please tell me you didn't. Echo? E Echo? Echo! <laughs> what in the world is wrong with you? Echo? Echo! I... It's me! Akira! Is that your idea of a sick joke? You're delusional to think I'd fall for something like that? But... It really is me, Echo. It is! I... I found this orb to, to control my p powers and... Your powers? Uh-huh. When we touch the orb, I think me and Zephyr switch places. And... And... Do you believe me? I apologize. But prove it. What? what? You still... I guess the last time we talked... I was mad at you for... My gosh. For not being allowed to use my... Ma... This is all my fault! If I didn't... Akira... My sister, it is you! I'm so glad you're safe! Echo... <laughs> okay, now's not the time to be getting all emotional. Um... Um... <laughs> we gotta get you out of here, Echo. I promise, somehow, I will save you. I have no doubt, Akira. These cells can be disabled from the main computer terminal. You need a passcode first, though. Turns out being an eavesdropping prisoner came in handy after all. I don't get what any of that means, but I'm on it. Right. The main control room is over there. Good luck, little sis. Got it! Well, we found Echo, yay. Cannot toggle magnified bars until manual override is set. Right, okay. Oh, hello! That girl! It's the girl who set Terra Lois ablaze! Because of you, everyone! Everyone was! Pretty cool! Calm down, Akira! 
You know, you're Zephyr. Have... Have you seen Sua? Sua? Have I heard that name before? Lord Zephyr? I... I can't recall. Who's Sue again? Doesn't surprise me you don't remember her. Master Overlord, he sent her away. She always watched over me, you know. She protected me from him. So Master Overlord, he said, if you're strong enough to fight, be my weapon. Sua, a real. She has beautiful wings, shiny hair, and horns. She was sent to an off-site facility. I... I heard they've been attacked. She was supposed to meet me! We were supposed to be together again! But she never came back! Sua, the factory she was guarding! Tell me, Lord! Master Zephyr! I know you know! You always know when things go wrong! Please tell me! Okay! I'll tell you! Sua... She was created to self-destruct when we threatened her. We... Lord Zephyr? Tell him. Just tell him. Sua. Sua died fighting bravely. She did everything she could, but it... It wasn't enough. She blew up. Oh? Hmm? I... I see. Th thanks? You know, Sua, she... She never made fun of me for how I talk. When I got... Or, uh, Master Overlordy. When I got beat up, she took care of me. She'd make me snacks, play with me, and take me away from my hellish nightmares. Why are you telling me all this? Yeah, come on, over it. I feel like we're all friends here. He... He found out! Agarus found out we betrayed him! Right now he... He's deciding my punishment. Oh... We... Betrayed what? I wanted to help! I wanted to get back at him! For Sua! For my friends! I just thought... Sua might save me just once more, huh? Master Agarus is waiting. Goodbye, my friend. Wait! The person you want to protect most. Please save her. Don't let her end up like me. Okay? Oh, I feel kind of bad for her now. What? What is this place? Oh, uh, diary updated. Oh, that's quite some info we learned about her. You see, when you play from the enemy's perspective, they don't really seem like enemies anymore, do they? Uh, I'm not sure what to think. I thought she was crazy. I seriously thought she was an axe-crazy murderer. What did Mira do to you? Just what have you been through? And why can't I help you? And this is, uh, Sua. You're not her. Someone I couldn't say, but I didn't know her for very long. But she made an impact on me. I'm not sure why she was working for Mira. What her reasons were. Or if she was very really okay with what happened, but... I think we could have been friends. I don't think it was really her choice. Like, not many people would voluntarily agree to be a bomb, right? Let's see. We got some pulley things, some spinny things. Got some turning things. How hard is it to open a stupid prison gate? Oh, here. Prison Sir Activation Passcode. I don't know the Activation Passcode. Um... I'm gonna go back to see Echo. Maybe she has some idea what it could be. I'm sorry, Echo. I still gotta figure something out. No need to worry. I trust you, Akira. I was hoping maybe you had some insight as to what the passcode would be, but I guess they went at the prisoner, though. Hi! Hey, little girl! Zephyr, you're back! Was the mission hard? She looks familiar. Have I seen her someplace before? Where would I have seen a prisoner of Mirak? Uh, she does kind of look like the other girl we saw before that we thought was Kari, except for then she was wearing a white, uh, white hood. 
What's wrong? You're not hurt, are you? Oh, um, no, uh, uh actually, I'm not Zipier. We somehow switched places. But don't tell anybody, okay? Oh, Akira. What are you doing here? Ah, oh, you remember me. I'm trying to free my sister, but I don't have the passcode. Oh, if that's all, it's 1134. Thank you, I'm gonna write that down. Now, why would our prisoner know the passcode? Well, you know, that's why I figured the Echo doesn't know it, but you knew it. Not just prisoner, I'm a test subject. It won't matter anyway, because no one leaves this place. Not for long, at least. It took a whole army of fighters and my little brother to get me out last time. Last time you were here before? We'll just see about that. I won't give up. And I'll get you out too. Good luck trying. Well, I will succeed. Oh, what's this? Cannot toggle? Okay. Well, I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I don't care. Alright, activation code is 1134. Magnify bar set to manual override. I'm coming. Hey, Echo, you got out! Echo! Akira! You won't let me hug you? Nope! Not until I'm back to my adorable girl herself. I understand. Echo, I saw a girl in the cell over there. I want to get her out too. You're in charge, little sister. Hey, you got Echo with us and... We stole that, uh, e um, that outfit for her. I want to see what it looks like. Eh, not bad. Knock, knock. Hey, little girl. Time to go. I'm not going with you. Why not? But why not? I just can't. You must leave. Get out of here. It's not safe for you here. You have to go. If I stay here, everyone will be okay. I don't understand. I'll find a way to make this work. She has a point, Akira. We're prisoners. We can't just walk around the castle as we please. I know that. I know that. I think it'd be best if you go back to that cell. As much as it hurts me to say that. In the meantime, I'll think of a way out for all of us. Uh, that's a shame. We let her go and we have to put her back. I believe that's what happened. You really expect me to believe that? Yeah! Yeah, because we also have your baby sister. You don't have a choice. I figured it was your people. Don't misunderstand. She came to us willingly this time. She wants to be brave and protect her big brother. I know all of Merrick's secrets. I can get you in. I just need your strength. Despite being in her body, I can't seem to access any of her powers. What are you two talking about? Just how involved is Akira with all this? If you plan to continue meddling, I think it's time you and your friends heard the full truth. She doesn't remember anything. Echo wouldn't talk either. How involved is Akira, you ask? The answer is... She's the core of this. She's not involved at all. But everything that's happened up till now... Has been involved with her. What does that mean? Akira has nothing to do with any of this. Akira has everything to do with all of this. Okay, disagree with him, okay? We don't have much time, so try to behave. I'll assemble all of our friends. They have the right to know what's happened. And about Akira, my sister, and Project Melody. So I say escort our guests here to the conference room, would you? I don't particularly want to leave him alone with, uh, her. Oh, and stay in the castle. We don't want our barging ship run running away, now would we? I wasn't thinking of leaving. Staring won't bring her back. Cut it out and deal with it! Okay! Oh, that was uh, quite a lot. So Zephyr, or Akira still- Yeah, still has Akira's equipment. Okay. So we need to find a conference room. Or assemble all of uh, Akira's friends. Uh, one or two. 
Uh, did you go somewhere? Uh, yeah. I'm not who I look like, and I'm not who you think you are. Best way to word it. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. I really hate this castle. I always get lost. Excuse me, but we're heading to the conference room. It's in a basement. I, I know that. I just don't know where the basement is. Is there something different about you? There's like this glimmer of despair in your eyes. You have no idea. Excuse me, we're heading to the conference room. It's in the basement. We're in the basement. I just don't know where the conference room is. I think I'm on the right track. I can't go in there. Yeah, we're on the right track. It's down here. Found it. It took me a while, but I found it. Well, time to get this over with. You've all heard the unfortunate fate of our little Akira. And have agreed to take action. She's counting on all of us. But I'm going to give you all one more chance to back out. I you find out the truth. You may not want to be involved with her anymore. Or with Eon, for that matter. Here goes. Project Melody. It was a research experiment to connect our broken world together again. Let me tell you a story. Thousands of years ago, when the winged creatures fell, the world was in chaos. A void mage, the angel of myth, used her magic to protect her world. Through her sacrifice, she split the world so the people she loved so dearly could be saved. She left a child, a reincarnation of herself to be born when the world was healed. Her existence was mere need to observe and cast judgment upon our world. That's just a silly bedtime story. No, it's a legend, Mickey. What's this guy do with Akira body swapping the crazy Mira guy? Shut it, you brat. It has everything to do with it, so pay attention. Alright. My name is Zepier, heir to Agoras, overlord of Mirak. That bastard is a descendant of the demon who fought the winged angel. Getting the vibe, you're not your old man's biggest fan. D -d Don't mind me, though. He tried to destroy the world. He failed. But the winged angel let him live. Through his son. They let the child stay in this world. Forever living a legacy of despair and hatred. And that will be my legacy. A melody is the key to the void. It opens a rift between dimensions. So this overlord person is after the other dimension? That dimension? Assuming it exists, of course. Why not just rule this world and save himself the trouble? You make a good point. Power. Our world has magic, technology, and strength. The other dimension is said to be completely mortal. He could ruin it, control it, do anything he wanted. It seems like... He wants to become a god. Okay, crazy god freak, got it. What's this gotta do with my best friend? Yeah, can we just cut to the chase, you know? Akira... Akira is... Like me. What do you mean by that? Like you. So... Echo knew about my powers. I guess I can't blame her for protecting someone from me, but... What else has she not told me? I've been with her all my life after Mother died. My earliest memory is playing a piano with Echo by my side. She was definitely happy. No, no, concentrate! A plan to get them out of here, come on! Come on, gotta think about it! Yo, Master Zephyr! Uh, something the matter? Girl, you have no idea! Uh, Peach, perfectly fine. Okay, if you say so. But if you ever need to talk, I'll be here. Wow, what a gorgeous view! No wonder you spend so much time out here. I know we do something like this? Yeah, she reminds me of Catchy. Sorry to bother you, but your father wants to see you about the orc. 
What did we just say about that? Not my father. Things have been taken care of as you ordered, so be prepared. Did, um, you tell about everything that happened? What? No, silly. I don't want to die. It's your job to report to him. Oh, great. Then I get to be the one that dies. I know. I just thought I might get a different answer given the circumstances. I'll be going now. Your father is waiting in the throne room. So go there. He's not my father. Don't call him that. <laughs> Here we go. It's strange. Up till now, I've only seen them as our enemy. I guess they are people too, after all. Maybe even him. Yeah, when you live in his shoes, you see that they're not really as evil as you thought. It's kind of more deep. Well, we gotta go see the Overlord, dude. Who, I already forget his name, so I guess we'll be doing that. Alright, well, here we go. Oh. Oh. Hi, Overlord, dude. Oh, wow, you look scary. Overlord, Zapier's father. Did you bring the item I asked for? No, there were some complications. Surely you know what happens when you fail me. Well, I gotta guess. Your punishment is your own fault. You let an experiment escape. You released it! I, um, pardon me, hold myself accountable for that. I'm frightened. Why am I shaking? You fool! Don't assume I'd be so simple-minded as to not see through your plans. Trust me, dear Zephyr. I know everything. To think my own son would betray me because of that damn girl? You brought a test subject with you during your mission to capture Project Melody. You released her there. And instead of results? You even have the nerve to bring me that filthy village girl. Village girl? Echo! If she wasn't supposed to be their target, who was? You are. I see. You figured out everything. That's exactly how it is. I've applauded your bravery and honesty. But those are useless attributes in my world. Do not disobey me again, boy. You are not immune. Out of my sight. Cease this foolish behavior at once. You won't be given a second chance. It's a waiting game now. Can I come up with a plan to rescue my friends in time? I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. What do you mean, like you, Kari? Yeah, can we elaborate on that, please? A clone. A clone of Katsumi. Doken's sister. Oh, so that's why the... That's why we thought that person was Kari and was like, No, I'm not Kari. I mean... I know, was Curry, but not far off from the truth since they're clones, you know? What? But the two of you act and look completely different. Clones do not always act the same, you know? Sometimes a clone takes on a personality of its own. Katsumi, my sister. She was born under the curse of the Void Mage's reincarnation. Being mortal, but possessing unattainable magical powers that are far more powerful. Project Melody. With an attempt to awaken those powers and bridge the broken worlds together again. At least that's what we were told. Overlord Agoras has had this mission passed down to him through generations. They took her from us and we didn't do a damn thing. We thought it was okay. We didn't realize just how destructive Agoras' plans actually were. A quoting process to enhance magical powers was used to siphon that power to enter the void. That girl you met? The one called Ia? She was also part of Project Melody. I thought she seemed similar. Same born fashion sense. The original copies were created from birth. With side effects of taking on animal attributes at the first non-human creatures they come in contact with. Oh, that explains the monkey tail. Which I'm guessing explains this irritating tail of hers. 
Way back when Akira first came to us in Terralos, the first thing I noted was her tail. And she didn't even remember having one. Or anything else for that matter. All of the original copies were destroyed. They all ended in failures. Melody herself was the only exception. That would be Akira. Oh! So Akira is Project Melody. Wait, wait, wait. So Akira's actually a clone? Like, really? Did you think we've been joking this entire time, Kachi? Uh, no, um... When we first met Akira. You've given them the details. They don't need to know our backstory. Anything further would be a waste of time. Let's continue the conversation on the way. Too bad, I was just about to reveal all your deep dark secrets too. This is no time for jokes, Doken. Yeah, alright everyone, now you know. I prefer you keep this information to yourselves though. We're heading out. If you wish to join the assault on Mirak, follow me. Are you going to say? Hey. Why are you doing this? Why do you care? Are you certain you want to know? Uh, I mean, yeah. Let's hear it. Come on, buddy. Oh, diary updated. Forget everything. I just had to save Echo. Alright. We're saving Echo now. Oh, why am I going in here? I want to go in here because the diary updated. So who is at it now? Ah, oh, here it is. Agarez. Overlord of Mirak and Zepir's father. How could someone possibly end up so warped? How can he treat people so cruelly? He knows me. How? Why is he after me? What did I do? Well, now we know though. And we also know we have to save Echo now. Screw the consequences. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to guys' Melody Echo Melodies. Hope you guys are enjoying this and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.